Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create uh, your autoresponder list, email list, using the free software called ListWire. In order to get started, you, you should go to listwire.com, and it's going to bring you to a page like the page that you're looking at, where it says sign up. You're going to click on sign up. And after you click on the sign up button, it's going to take you um, to an application. And the application that it takes you to asks you to enter your account username and password and verify password and it, all the information. And after you enter everything, you're going to click the, um, the create your list wire account. After you create that account and you now have a username, and a password, you're going to click where the username is at, you're going to type in your, your username, click with password, type in your password, then you're going to click and log in. After that, you're into your account, you're going to click on the home button, and the home button is going to bring you to that home page where you see all of your options and things that you could do. Um, everything that's listed up here is to help you build this list. Unfortunately, the support section is still in development, but if you need any help, you can always go to member forum and you can click there and you can enter your questions and, you know, and sometimes people will respond and answer you. Uh, if you cannot get the help you need in member support, in my description area, you have my telephone number, you have my email address. Please contact me. I will answer all your questions. I will even uh, build your, you know, put the information in and set up your uh, order responder for you. Okay, getting started. On the left hand of the screen, you would see account management and manage order responders. Okay. That's all we will be needing for the uh, for this tutorial. Okay, so now the first thing you're going to do is click on Manage Auto Responders. Okay. Initially, ListWire creates a master auto responder, uh, which is named like your username. And personally, you don't want to reveal your username, ListWire username. So you're going to click on Manage Responders, and you're going to click on Click Here to add a new order responder list. OK? We're going to click on that. All right, you will have to enter a new name and description for your order responder here. So you enter your new name and a description. So I might. Uh, I'll, I'll do it just for this new name, how to, how to, okay? Description, how, uh, how to make money. Let's put it that way. Okay. And then you click here to create a new autoresponder. So you already created the new order responder. <clears throat> um, if you have already created order responders, right here in the drop down menu, <laughs> you want to select it. Okay, so now we have selected. It always has a problem with your postal. You just correct that and then you click on it and then it updates the information. But um, I could I could put that in. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then you click on that to update that. Okay, so so far so good. So let me just go on, go go over what you have entered and for the reasons <clears throat> you enter it. So the from your name is basically this is the sender's name, which the recipients of your mails, emails will see in their mailbox, okay? The from 
email. This is the sender's email address with which the recipient of your mail will see in their mailbox, okay? Account description. This is a description of what your autoresponder is about. It will be seen by, by your customer. Um, your PO box, you know, it will be included in your email as well. And so far, so good. Hopefully you're catching on. Uh, don't bother with the rest of the things that are not filled in. They're not necessary, okay? So all of the information has been successfully updated. So the next thing you have to do is to set up your confirmation email, okay? That's the first, the first email which is sent to your prospects, your customers, after they subscribe to your list. And how do you get there? You click on settings, then you click on verification message. The, ver the verification message that you see below will be sent to all of your new customers, asking them to verify their subscription before they will be sent any further messages. Okay, so the subject line is automatically filled in for you. You just leave that the way it is. And then here, you can type in a custom verification message here. You can put something like you just signs, uh, signs up for, you know, and then whatever else you want to put there. And then you put, please verify uh, that we have permission to send you uh, to send to this email address, okay? All right, so that's just for this, uh, the purpose of this video. Then after that, you click on update your verification message for this account, you click on that, it'll tell you that it was a success, okay? Now your autoresponder is ready for a first test. Before you can test your autoresponder, you need subscriptions to your list. In this how-to, we'll choose the option to use a subscription form on a website. You can choose this option in the top menu, okay? So you would click on prospect, and when you click on prospect, okay, uh, one moment please, a little interruption. You click on prospect, and then you click on subscription form. Most people use a subscription form in order to get um, uh, people to sign up, okay? So now you click on, click here to add a web form. See how smooth it's going? So once you click on here to add a web form, then now you make sure that options is selected. And you're going to uh, name your web form. Uh, I'm just going to put inline form for the purpose of this video. And then here, uh, the form type. I'm just going to leave whatever they have there. And then it says to redirect your URL in tracking code and all of this. If you need that, okay, you click on next. And now you click here to edit this text. So then you can, you can put please fill in this form, okay? And then you click on save, okay? The bottom, you can put the same thing. You can put thank you if you want, all right? Then you click on save. Now, you can just click on save my form, okay? It's no Earl or anything, so that's why it says it's bad. So, um, 
now you know how to do the form. Hopefully, uh, this tutorial has been helpful to you. We're going to another part at this time. You have to actually send uh, emails to your customers or your prospects. So that's going to be covered. So far, we only created a verification message so your prospects or your customers won't receive any further emails after subscribing to your autoresponder. So to, to define your follow-up messages, choose messages at the top and then you're going to click on um, follow-up messages which is already selected and after that um, you will see that you have not created it says you have not created your order response or follow ups yet so now you're going to click here well you can't click here to edit because you don't have um, any messages so so in this screen you see that you have not created your order response or follow ups yet only thing you have to do is scroll down to do so okay so your subject tags, a lot of times you can put hello, hello, and then you can select the tag of the person's um, first name and insert that tag. And then you can put hello again if you want, and then you can put the person's full name, and then you insert that tag. Okay? And then now, whatever message, uh, you can put lesson one on tying, lesson one on typing, on typing a postcard, okay? And then, you can use a different tag to personalize, as you saw here, the message. Um, you just have to choose it from the drop down list, as I did, for the message or the message body and click the insert tab. Okay? Now we are going to create the message, which I already started doing the message right here. Now, what the zero means is that if it, when you click, you, you the zero means. It's only, the zero means that right after you send this message, the customer will receive lesson one on typing a postcard. So you click here to save uh, changes to the messages, and it's going to tell you that you have um, successfully added the message. Well, this concludes my tutorial. I hope that you have learned something. Um, and I hope that it's been helpful because when I was first starting out, I didn't know how to use Listwire. Uh, there's not a whole lot of information available on it. And most people can't explain it too well. So I tried my best. If you need any help in setting up your order responder, please contact me at the number below or the email below. I'll be more than happy to assist you with this. I can assist you. I can do it. I just, I'm just in the business of saving you time, and that's what you need. Because you need to get up and going. Sometimes you don't have time to figure out all the nooks and crannies or whatever it is. So uh, thank you again for tuning into my channel. I'm Teresa, and I hope that you will return to my channel. There's lots to learn on my channel. Have a good day.